Hey, what's poppin' guys? It's your boy K-Shell. I'm back again with another highlights video. In this video, you're gonna see mostly sniper gameplay, but I've also been messing around with the Striker 45 as a secondary with the 45 hollow point conversion mags, and it's absolutely disgusting, bro. I get some insane clips in this video, so if we could get to 15 likes, that'd be freaking amazing, man. I'm gonna start uploading more plunder videos while we continue waiting to see when the reveal for COD 2020 is gonna be, but let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see some class setups, tips and tricks videos, anything that might help y'all get better at this dude of a game man i'm gonna be honest with you most of my class setups are for advanced players only but if you're looking to improve i can make some videos that will get you started in the right direction so just let me know man if you guys do enjoy the video make sure to sub to the channel with noties on so you never miss an upload if i'm not your favorite warzone sniper after this video i don't know what to tell you man i stream every monday wednesday friday over on twitch link for that will be in the description let's get it bro That's no fuck.
my shot. What? No fucking way. Kevin, your ass. Alright guys, well I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch, so you can go follow me over there. And once again, the link will be in the description. If you guys are curious about the class that I was using, uh, this is my car class right here. Running the monolithic suppressor for uh, maximum bullet velocity as well as damage range. And I've got the Syngard custom 27.6 inch barrel, again, for damage range and bullet velocity. Tack laser speed things up up a little bit sniper scope obviously for magnification and the ftech sport comb for just a little bit more speed the reticle i was using was the pinpoint um if you didn't know you actually have to do challenges with these to unlock them i don't know if i'm actually going to grind these out i did uh, do some grinding to get the blue dot and that took about a week so i don't know if i want to do that again because i mean this next one is mounted kills i know i have 116 out of 150 but i just don't do it that much and for some reason it hasn't been tracking right in warzone on to the striker class that i was using i had the 400 millimeter stainless steel tackling laser for a bit of speed. Poor 
Mortal Kombat Hollow Sight again with the blue dot, uh, just because I prefer that over the little halo and dot in the middle, the default reticle that it has. And the star of the show, the 12 round hollow point mags. And of course, slide of hand because you're going to be reloading a lot. If you noticed about halfway through the video, I switched it up. I was running the monolithic suppressor, but I took that off on the second game in favor of the slide of hand. This video was made of clips that I got over the last two games that I played just back to back and I got enough material to work with. So that's why you're going to see the switch up like right in the middle. As far as the perks that I'm running, I am going with double time, overkill and amped. Uh, double time so that I can increase that attack sprint duration. Overkill, obviously, so that I can have two primaries equipped at the same time. And then I've got amped. I've really been enjoying amped recently just because, um, especially with class setups like this, where you're running a bolt and then you're also running something that doesn't have a whole lot of ammo in it. You need to be able to swap through weapons really quickly and amped is always going to get that job done. Lastly, I run C4 for obvious reasons, you know, like vehicles uh, has a larger blast radius than like a frag or a Semtex so you can damage more people. Since I play solo so much, I usually run like flash grenades or stuns. Uh, I've kind of moved away from the stuns because they screwed me over. Like if they're facing you and they're stunned, they still could possibly land enough shots to kill you and it's happened to me too many times. With SBMM being the way that it is in this game, I've gone up against a lot of really good players and they can just kind of power through that stun grenade. But if you take away their vision, they're less likely to be able to do that. So I run the flashes instead. At the end of the day, it's all personal pressure preference but if you guys want to give this a shot then go for it and let me know down in the comment section how you do that's it for me y'all it's been your boy k shell i'll see you in the next one